Frozen. What's up you guys? Welcome back. It's cold. We are in West Texas and we are going to be chasing Sand Hill Crane today. Um, first time I've done it. Um, I've had opportunities before. I just had, could never make it. And now uh, Joe and Tyler gave me a shout. They're like, hey, we're going to go do this. You want to you join us? And I was like, absolutely. So we're here. Now we're trying to figure something out because Apparently there's a lot of stickers on the ground um, and as soon as the dogs step out they just get covered in them so Tyler makes his own um, little boots for the dogs so that they don't get stickers on them and they can still retrieve so he's gonna do it with Joe's dog and then we're gonna do it on cash as well so that we can uh, bring him out because I mean I definitely don't want to have him out here and get a stickers all over his paws and then not have a good time and be hurting and all that stuff it's just not fun for the dogs but if those things work we can put it on them and just watch them go have some fun and that's what we're gonna do because i want him to have fun i want him to enjoy this and and just get after it and see how he does honestly i'm, I'm curious to see how he's gonna do so we're gonna give it a go right now and see what happens and if we can get him out there where he's gonna be comfortable and he's gonna have a good hunt and have fun we're gonna do it if not I'm going to leave him in the truck. I know he's going to hate that. He's going to probably cry a lot. But I'd rather him just be there crying and not having fun. So let's see what uh, what Tyler can come up with. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then, you know, we'll have some fun. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. It is early in the morning. It's freaking cold. And if you guys don't know this, fun fact, Elijah gets cold really, really fast. So he's probably shaking. And he's got like six or seven layers. He looks like the kid from uh, Christmas Story. He's walking around like this. So, my arms. <laughs> so the film is very stiff it's because he can't move his arms. <laughs> nice. Trust me, you don't want none of this foot. These spurs. Never had it so cold that duct tape stopped working. Not that great. <laughs> Yeah, he said the birds here are horrible. What do you mean? The birds for the dogs, the sticker birds. Oh. Well, I call them stickers. Oh. Sandwich. Yeah, he said he had his dogs here yesterday and they wanted him to pick up the bird that was here. Ah, wait, buddy. Just for your own good, homie. So you don't get stickers and you can still hunt. All right, his heart's beating like crazy. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of the vet. I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> like, look, you can literally see, like, here's the ones I had on my dog. Just oh, today. nice. I was told I was going hunting. This is bullshit. I'll tell you that much. Good boy. Good boy. You got one more, Bubba. You're doing good. You're doing good, Ken. <laughs> got a fresh mullet right there. What kind of shells are you <laughs> What are those? What kind of shells are you wearing? Uh, I'm running through the mirror. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, no, you, without a doubt. Cash is not having it. He's like, get me out of this damn thing. And then now he's just getting comfortable. He hasn't really ever hunted out of that uh, box blind like that. So this is the first for him, which is good. You get him, get him uh, you know, used to different things and trying out different things. So, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready. I want some. 
some uh, some of this ribeye from the skies, but everyone keeps calling it. Yeah, I'll try it. I've never had it. So uh, hopefully there's stuff flying soon. Man, this view out here is gorgeous. Look at this sunrise. It is impossible. guys this right here is the ribeye of the sky and uh how many we got so far oh, like 15 or so 15 or so so we still have to meet everybody else's limit but it's freaking awesome just watching those birds come in man and just, and just going to town um cash one of his little booties came off so i saw him going and then he stepped on a bunch of stickers and was just hurting so i haven't sent him out again but he's just hanging out right here having a good old time y'all it's freezing out here like i'm shaking i hardly ever get cold i'm fucking shaking there's been a couple times where i'm like you know what i'm gonna ask for the vehicle to come get me because this is fucking cold but thankfully the sun is coming up it's warming up my face a little bit as i'm sitting there and uh yeah this is awesome super fucking fun i I haven't had fun like that in a minute. I'm glad we came out. This is awesome. Ain't it, Cash? Even Cash got a little blood in his face. <laughs> it is freaking cold. I can't feel my other leg. The good one. <laughs> it's that cold. Well, it's now okay for everyone to cry, Uncle, because you're not the first. Man, I'm telling you, I, I kid you not, there was a couple times where I was in there and I'm just, I'm shivering, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna ask for the truck, I'm gonna ask for the truck, and then I was like, nah, I'm not gonna be that guy. Alright guys, this is day two, we're back in the blind, let me tell you, it's not as cold as it was yesterday, um, I don't know if you saw the footage, you probably did, but we sent cash yesterday to retrieve some of them, and he hit one pretty hard and then oh, that thing kicked that? him and he was like, whoa, what the hell? 16, 16. So he didn't really get um, to retrieve one, but hopefully today we will. We're in an A-frame this time. It's a lot warmer. Yesterday was like 19. Today we're in the 30s, which <laughs> we got a heat wave coming through. But day two, this is the last sit of the weekend and then we head home. So hopefully we can knock down a bunch of birds and then uh, head on home with some meat and call it a day but yeah i hope we can get our limit and then get on the road go home but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode this is my first time sandhill crane hunting 
Um, if you got any tips on how to cook it or anything, let me know down below. Because again, it is the ribeye in the sky and everybody keeps talking about how great it is. So if you have a recipe that you really enjoy, let us know down below so that we can try it out. Because uh, we're definitely going to call uh, our buddy Jason from Grow Your Ass Off to come to the house and do a cooking video with us uh, with Sand Hill Crane and see how it turns out. So let's get after it. Um, I'm a lot, like, a lot, lot better today. I'm pumped because it's not freezing like yesterday. I hardly ever get cold. And yesterday, there was a few times laying in that blind that I almost gave up. I was like, you know what? Get the trucks. I want to get out of here. But I'm glad I stuck around because a lot of birds ended up coming in. And hopefully we have that same issue today. Hopefully we have a lot of birds coming in and we get after it. And Tyler's over there being grumpy because he woke up early this morning. <laughs> I didn't get my coffee. Did he, oh, you didn't get coffee? No. Oh, that no sucks. Way. I made it. And I left it on the counter. And we stopped at a gas station too, so he had a second chance to get coffee. Are they here during dove season? No, no, I wasn't getting coffee. Are they here during dove season? <laughs> Not at that gas station, yeah. <laughs> Do you see the dude behind the oh, counter? <laughs> no. He's kind of shady looking. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't trusting this coffee. Really? I didn't go inside. Welcome back. Get him, Cash, get him. Good boy, Cash, get him. First one. Look at that. So when they have red, it's a mature bird? Uh, yeah, if they have the nut side on their head, they red. Go past the chair, down. I'm running, um, for those of you that are going to ask, we are running Remington 3's, 3 inch, and uh, 3 and 5's in the bag, so we smacked them, we're smacking them pretty good, this, this is good ammo right here, some good stuff right there, man those came in awesome didn't they, they just came in, flirt up, boom boom boom, put the hammer on them, that was awesome, that was awesome. Cash is, Cash is having, um, you know, he's never crane hunted. I mean, he, all he's done is duck so far, right? But he went up to him, you know, kind of fought with him a little bit. And he was like, yeah, I don't know about this. So we're going to keep sending him. <laughs> we're going to keep sending him. Hopefully he retrieves one. We'll see. No survivors!
Come on. Did you say grab their dicks and twist them? How the turn? How does the how does the one from the office go? How's the turn? Touching the screen, so it's gonna. All right, y'all. So what happened is that Crispy's not hitting anything. So oh, get out of here! I'm gonna go ahead and take over for a second. I'm probably gonna bring down the rest of these uh, oh, the rest of these birds for up. us because these guys all together ain't hitting nothing, especially this not, Crispy. This is not gonna make the video. <laughs> 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 what the fuck just happened? Guys, this episode is brought to you by Everest.com. If you're looking for outdoor gear from hunting, hiking, fishing, Everest.com is where it's at. They got a bunch of retailers and a bunch of different brands from all over the country where you can go and purchase anything that you need. Don't get caught with your pants on like I did yesterday and freeze in a blind because you don't have the gear. Go check out Everest.com and you'll find everything that you need. Thanks. Well guys, that's the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was so much fun. I'm definitely gonna be doing this again next year. Um, we got here at almost at the end of the season. So that's it, but this was freaking fun. I wanna come out of here and do like a four day and just like hang out, grab a big group of my friends and come out and have some fun because this was awesome. We're gonna head back in with the guys. We're gonna get those birds cleaned up. We're gonna bring it home. And like I said earlier, we're definitely gonna do some cooking with it and, um, and see how it tastes because you just can't be telling everybody it's the ribeye of the sky and then it's, you know, it's like and mediocre. But if it's really the ribeye of the sky when we eat it, man, I'm definitely going to do it again. I mean, we are, but it's just going to make it that much better. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This was fun. You got to thank the guys here from Dirty uh, Texas Outfitters. Uh, super cool. My buddy Tyler, my buddy Joe, uh, Keith who was running out grabbing all the... Uh, decoys and moving them and grabbing birds and whatnot because Cash didn't want to retrieve this time. I, I honestly, uh, I guess we got to go back to the drawing board for him. He had never seen a crane before. They're pretty big. So we just got to give him a little bit of training, make sure he can grab them and then, you know, bring them out next year. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe down below. See you guys next week. Until then, Chris be on. That dog's constipated. Look at him.